Welcome, welcome one and all. Welcome to Digital Preneurs. I'm so happy to see you again. As usual, it's Balix here at the headquarters where we do what we love doing every day, inspiring online entrepreneurs. I love to call them digital preneurs because that's what we are all about. Yeah, we want to turn you from a physical entrepreneur to a digital preneur yeah it just sounds that great yeah so i'm glad to see you and today we are going to be talking about uh how to use your outlook for sending bulk emails yeah i i got uh, i got uh, a few requests uh from some uh, entrepreneurs asking me how to how to send out bulk emails using their outlook yeah so that's what we are going to get into so let's get into the screen recording so that i show you how it is done okay so uh all you have to do uh when you come to your outlook now we are not we are not going to use outlook to uh to set up the entire process yes outlook will be in charge of doing the work however uh to do this we have to switch to microsoft word okay so uh let's go to microsoft word uh open a new document of course you know how to open microsoft word i don't have to show you that now when you come to microsoft word uh so all you have to do is come to your mailings yeah come to your mailings and then under mailings go to select uh start mail merge all right so when you uh, click start mail merge uh, go uh, go to email messages okay now the moment you click email messages the layout or uh, will change the layout will obviously change now once you do that uh, you will you will then uh, go to select recipients okay click select recipients now you can choose to type a new list however i do not recommend that okay i i recommend that you use an existing list okay uh choosing from your outlook contacts may be uh, may give you a bit of headache so uh, what i would suggest if you want to use your outlook contacts first go to your outlook and then export your contacts into a csv file okay go to outlook and export your contacts into a csv file a csv file is basically it's almost it's, it's similar to an excel sheet yeah so what what i would advise is uh prepare your database in form of an excel sheet okay prepare your database in form of an excel sheet so an excel sheet is something that looks like this so this is our database uh we have uh, we have the email address we have their first name we have their phone number and we have their country code okay so this is going to be our excel sheet this is the database that i'm going to use when i'm sending the emails so if i go back to the word document uh here where they say uh select recipients i say use an existing list because i already exported it from mailchimp or you've exported it from outlook wherever maybe you you created your database in excel you have your names and email addresses already set up somewhere in an excel document okay so i uh, select use an existing list it will open up let's locate that database uh, mine would be in uh, downloads mailchimp list so locate your database the, the excel sheet that we talked about and then select it and open okay uh, we can say open a read only copy say okay now the database has been imported into word okay so uh, then we can start uh, we can start uh, typing our email so we can say we can say dear space then we insert a merge field uh so here we want to use their name when we are sending out uh the email okay so we insert a merge field so we want it to be the first name okay Be, uh, these merge fields are coming from the database that we have chosen so we had an email let me show you uh the database so as you can see we have the email address we have the first name we have the phone and we have the country code 
that is what uh, this word document is picking up in the merge field. So when you select, so you want the first name to be there, dear first name, maybe dear Hassan Baliks, enter, and then we type our email, okay? Let's get our email, okay? So I have just uh, copied in, copied and pasted uh, an email. So we have this um, uh, merge field there, hi, first name. So we've written our email, and then we sign it off. Now, now, now that we are done, now that we are done with uh, writing the email, we can now send off the email. So to send off the bulk email, all we have to do is uh, come here where it says finish and merge. Okay? Finish and merge. So you could uh, skip edit in the video documents. Don't go there. Go direct to send email messages okay now i'm not going to send this uh <laughs> to send this email uh because this email already went out uh, however for this example i uh, i will just leave it at that so all you have to do is say send email messages and once you do that uh this database that you chose will each of them will receive this specific email with their first name so i hope uh, we were together up to that point. I hope you've gotten some value from this very quick tutorial. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment or suggestion. Uh, which other video do you want me to do in the future? Uh, leave it in the comments. Again, subscribe to the channel. Share it with someone uh, who may benefit from this. We release a lot of this content weekly. As usual, it's Balix from Digital Preneurs saying, Atsala Vista, bye-bye.